this section of the foundation as you can see has some uh, poor mortar in it uh, I've been scraping on it a little bit to remove the loose mortar there's no sense in uh, taking out any mortar that's actually still adhering as long as you can get uh, you want to go about as deep um, two times the width of the gap here is about how deep you want to go but uh, if it's a lot worse than this you're gonna actually remove bricks and rebuild um, nothing here is none of the bricks are coming out the mortar is just loose so looks like we've caught this in time to just tuck point it back together all this is pretty solid so uh, all right we've got this cleaned out and I sprayed it out with a hose just to uh, clean out any loose dust as you can see some damage to the bricks here but uh, just lay your trowel up there and spread the mortar in that joint packing it in as tight as you can get it don't worry about the overflow once this mortar sets up just a little bit we'll get that off there just work your way down this horizontal joint Once you've got the horizontal joints packed full, you can go ahead and work through the vertical ones. All right, our mortar's set up a little bit. I've got a wire brush here. I'm gonna just run over these joints. You wanna make sure that your mortar is dry enough that you're not pulling it out. And you're just using this to go ahead and uh, make sure that mortar's all packed in there, nice and tight and scrape off the outside edge just a little bit. Get all the excess off. Now you might say that looks pretty awful, but I've uh, got a little secret here. I've got a bristle brush. In England they use something called a churn brush uh, which we don't have here in America this is just a Kong brush you can get them with the mortaring tools um, concrete tools in the home supply store but it's just got a pretty stiff bristle what we're gonna do is work that mortar just smack it with this brush What the brush does is it not only pulls the mortar out, but it also gives it a little bit of an exposed look, uh, so it'll blend a little bit better with your existing mortar. Now this house, as you can see, someone has done sort of a stucco uh, overlay. Uh, you see that a lot in older homes. 